Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to take a quick first look review of the new 2021 Chevrolet Suburban and 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. General Motors just unveiled its redesigned 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe and 2021 Chevrolet Suburban full-size SUVs that are larger, more tech-advanced, and offer a wider range of choices for customers. The 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe and 2021 Chevrolet Suburban share design cues from the recently redesigned Chevrolet Silverado pickup, including boomerang LED signature lights and large prominent grills with horizontal bars behind Chevy's bowtie emblem. The SUVs, according to officials, feature redesigned interiors with far greater interior space than the current models, including 66% more cargo room behind the third row for Tahoe and 19% more cargo space behind the first row for Suburban. The 2021 Chevrolet Suburban and 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe will be offered in three in with three engine options, a 5.3 liter V8 with 355 horsepower, a 6.2 liter V8 with 420 horsepower, and a new 3 liter diesel engine which debu debuted in the Chevrolet Silverado with 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. All engines will be matched with a 10-speed automatic transmission. The interior of the vehicles include standard 10-inch diagonal center infotainment screens and optional 15-inch heads-up or windshield display for drivers and 12.6-inch diagonal touchscreens for the rear seats. The SUVs, according to GM, offer 30 safety and driver convenience technologies such as standard automatic emergency braking and optional HD surround view and a new rear pedestrian alert system. Okay, let's jump into this first look, this quick first look review of the all-new 2021 Tahoe and Suburban by Chevrolet. Now, I mentioned that the re this is all-new redesign. We know that these are new redesigned vehicles that are going to be out. Their availability is going to be mid-2020. They tell us that right here on the right at the top of their page. They tell us when the availability, when we can expect them in the dealer showrooms. I was mentioning that this redesign, that it has several cues of the redesigned Chevrolet Silverado. I don't know if you're interested in the Chevrolet, uh, Chevrolet Silverado, but I actually did a build in price of the brand new redesigned Chevrolet Silverado uh, 1500 LTZ Crew Cab. So if you're interested in that video, I'll go ahead and put a link up in the corner right now. All right, so let's do this. On Chevrolet's page here, they don't have a whole bunch of information. They don't give us a lot of information. Now, in the introduction here, I kind of gave us a little I'm going to be I gave us a little bit more information that we're going to get off of this page. But we're going to we're going to pick apart and get a few more bits of information off this page. Then we're going to jump over to the GM press room page real fast and dig out a few more nuggets of information because I know they got a little bit more stuff to say about these upcoming new uh, 2021 Tahoe and Suburban. Okay, first off, the Suburban looks fantastic. They, I only say the Suburban because on this page here, they seem to, even though they mention both of them together, Tahoe and Suburban, when they talk about the redesign, they seem to only show the Suburban. <clears throat> At any rate, the Suburban looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely beautiful. They say that it's been around 44 years. Now, I'm not going to say that I've loved the Suburban's looks for 44 years. I've actually liked the Suburban since the 2008, since they redesigned it for 2008. I'm going to put a picture up of an 08 Suburban. There you go. And to me, that's when they started looking nice. So from that point forward, I've always been interested in these big full-size SUVs, be it a Tahoe or a Suburban. It didn't really matter because they all took the same kind of look. So, yeah, I like that body style. You probably do too. And so, yeah, let's move forward. So here, they do give us some decent information right here. They let us know that uh, the Tahoe, that these vehicles, the Tahoe, Tahoe and Suburban are offered in six trims with their own unique style and capabilities, including top-of-the-line comforts of high country uh, and the street style of RST and the legendary off-road capability of the Z71. Now, what trim level here that they're showing on this particular uh, on this particular Suburban with these beautiful dual exhaust. I mean, that dual exhaust, the back end just does it for me. It looks gorgeous. Love how it's got the little black, uh, uh, um, whatever that is down here. A little extra piece down there. I guess that's part of the rear bumper down there. It just looks really, really nice. It's just 
the vehicles just evolve so nicely. To me, the interior of the redesigned Suburbans and Tahoes kind of look like the old ones, but that's not a bad thing. They're very nice. They let us know that driver-centric enhancements. Uh, it's got available nine best-in-class camera views and a 10-inch Chevrolet infotainment system. Uh, yeah, that uh, added confidence when parking or trailering. So I'm sure they've got options for a trailering package, an anti-sway. I see a push-button start ignition right there, right next to the steering wheel right there. So push-button start. Yeah, they tell you about the uh, rear seat media system with twin 12.6-inch displays. So yeah, you got the rear seat entertainment if you want it. Let's look through the rest of these. Um, there's the rear seat entertainment. And those screens are gigantic. 12.6 inch screens are huge. Looks like you also have rear seat climate control back there. And the seats, all the rows fold flat. This looks fantastic. I like this option here where you've got the captain's chairs in the second row so you can walk through to the third row. I like that option. Uh, here they're showing a panoramic sunroof. Whether or not that is standard equipment or not, we probably won't find that out today. But we can see that you can get your Suburban in Tahoe with a panoramic roof one way or the other. So yeah, we talked about the engines, three engine options. There's the 5.3 liter V8, which they don't even bother mentioning here on this page. Then they jump right to the 6.2 liter V8. And then of course that three liter Duramax diesel that you can also get in the Chevrolet Silverado. Okay, and then they're also letting you know that here's the big deal. Here's the real big deal why there's so much more interior space is because now for the first time, I think there's an independent rear suspension on these vehicles on the 2021 Tahoe and 2021 Suburban. You can also get available magnetic ride and an air ride adaptive suspension. So lots of cool stuff, lots of technology, lots of comfort. Lots of power and performance, and regardless of what engine you get, they all come with the same 10-speed automatic transmission. Then lastly on this page, they, only, they have a little video about their air, air ride adaptive suspension, which we're not going uh, to watch. But we know that this pack, that the suspension is only available on a Z71, apparently, and a high country. All right, the segment first, air ride adaptive suspension. And then, really, they want you to opt in because at the end of the day, this is all the information they're really giving out. So if you want to know more information and be notified when the vehicles are ready, you can let them know. We're not going to go do that, but what we're going to go do is jump over to that GM Press Room page real fast because they have a little bit more information on this vehicle than Chevrolet is putting out on this page here. So let's jump over. Okay, so here we are on the Chevrolet Press Room website or General Motors Press Room website, whoever it is. Uh, we're going to find out a lot more information about the all-new uh, so, uh, Tahoe and Suburban. For instance, they're letting us know, yep, we found out a little bit of information about that class-leading interior space. But yeah, we know that it's 66% more cargo room behind the third row for the Tahoe. 19% more uh, more cargo space behind the first row for the Suburban, both of both of which is best in class. But what we didn't get was that there's an additional 10 inches of, of leg room in the third row for the Tahoe. That's significant. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about that uh, that suspension. So yeah, we know that uh, the suspension it's got that independent rear suspension. There's an available magnetic ride, and there's a first in class adaptive air suspension but here's what we didn't know we didn't know that that new adaptive air suspension it offers low leveling at all four corners and there's up to four inches of ride height adjustment here they're telling us there's an entirely new SUV specific interior offering up to five display screens so there's a standard 10.25 inch screen all right and then there's an available 8-inch screen. So that avail that standard 10-point inch screen, 10-inch uh, screen is a diagonal center touch uh, color touch screen, and it's the largest in the segment. There's an available 8-inch diagonal instrument cluster. There's an available 15-inch head-up display with no which no competitor offers. They tell us, and there's an available 12.6-inch diagonal rear seat LCD displays, part of the segment's most advanced rear seat media system. 
All right, so I've highlighted some other notable things here. Up at the top, we already know there's 30 safety and driver convenience features uh, highlighted by standard automatic emergency braking, new features including HD surround vision, rear pedestrian alert. We know about that 3-liter diesel, um, the standard 10-speed automatic transmission, best-in-class 9-camera views, and new uh, trailering features designed to help improve the driver's experience. Uh, including trailer profiles, trailer tire pressure and temperature monitoring, and side blind, zo blind zone alert for trailering. And the last thing I have highlighted up here is that, that uh, the 2021 Tahoe and Suburban go on sale in mid-2020 in North America. That's us, the United States. Let's talk some more about those engines and performance on these upcoming uh, Suburban and Tahoe. So yeah, we know about that 5.3 liter V8. It's rated at 355 horsepower. That engine standard on the LS, LT, LT, Z71, RST, and Premier models. Now when you get that 6.2 liter V8 that's rated at 420 horsepower, that's standard on the high country. And both of those feature the industry first dynamic fuel management technology, with more than 12 modes of cylinder deactivation. Seems like a lot. At any rate, let's jump down a little bit further. Uh, talking about that Duramax diesel. Uh, it's available on all models except the Z71. Uh, and let's see. It says applications where torque means everything. for da -da -da -da. The Duramax is rated at 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. And no other competitor offers a diesel engine for an SUV. So this is definitely, I guess, a class exclusive class first whatever you want to call it but nobody else has a diesel but now the suburban and the tahoe have a diesel and that's going to make it go crazy sales for sure let's check out some of these additional design highlights real fast they say standard led headlamps and led ta tail lamps there's active front grille shutters that close at certain times on the highway to enhance aerodynamics there's dual exhaust on the premier and high country with gas engine Good to note, because I did talk about how I thought how gorgeous those dual quad exhausts were. Uh, let's see, there's nine exterior colors, including three all-new colors. Empire Beige Metallic, sounds awesome. Cherry Bomb Tint Coat, and Dark Moon Blue Metallic. Some color choices will be premium options. Then there's standard 18-inch wheels on the LS and LT. 20-inch polished aluminum wheels on the, pre on the Premier. And 20-inch wheels with all-terrain tires on the Z71. And here we go, 22-inch wheels on the RST and the High Country. Okay, last but not least before we wrap this video up, uh, yeah, the 2021 Chevy Suburban and Tahoe uh, go on sale in mid-2020 in North America with availability in other regions to follow. The all-new Tahoe and Suburban will be manufactured at GM's Arlington, Texas Assembly Facility which has received more than $1.4 in investments since 2015. So I guess they're tooled up and ready to go, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, there it is. The all-new Tahoe and Suburban for 2021. They'll be out, I guess, a year early. If they're, if they're model year 2021 and they're going to be available mid-2020, yeah, they're coming out fast. But yeah, this vehicle is going to be pretty sweet with the diesel option. They're a lot bigger. They're, they're gorgeous. They got a lot of technology. What's not to love about America's favorite full-size SUVs? All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this quick first look review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.